Got my guests here, Josh Capel and Daryl Chow. We're talking about some spicy hot games that we've all played recently. And one of those games that I want to hear about, it's actually, if uh, I'm trying to remember who designed it. Is it it's you and Sashi, is that right, Daryl Chow? We're talking about Remember yeah. Our Trip. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So tell us about Remember Our Trip. Uh, Sue Sheldon from the Dice Tower loves this game. And Eric Yoko from Punch Port Media is supposed to be reviewing it. I'm anxious to hear about it. Okay, so um, I think everyone's going to be able to get their hands on it soon because um, <clears throat> DLP just um, announced that they're going to be um, publishing it, I think, at the end of this year. <clears throat> um, the theme is quite unique. It's about <clears throat> remembering, but it's, but it's no memory involved. It's basically about recreating a map of where the, the, the friends or the players have visited in the past so it's kind of like i mean if you look at it in a different way it's kind of like a city building game but you're, you're building the city in your memory <clears throat> and i think the coolest thing about the game is that <clears throat> there is a <clears throat> there is a shared board that you're recreating but it, there you have player boards as well <clears throat> okay so you're 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 getting points on your own player board <clears throat> but Together with the other players, you're creating um, a shared board, and then that shared board gets populated with all the tiles and, and kind of like building the city together. Oh, is um, it, if, you, if you like spatial games, sorry, so is it competitive or cooperative? Um, actually, almost like into deep, there are co-op and there are competitive elements, but oh. it, it's, it's a pure, <clears throat> it's a pure co competitive game. But there are parts of the game where you may want to kind of work together with other players to <clears throat> to lock in parts of the board so you can maximize your points. You you told the story in another show about your first time actually meeting I'm meeting Sasha. Anything. So tell us that story. How was that meeting Sasha? How did that happen? <clears throat> okay, so we were both at um, Tokyo Game Market and I, I was going to go up to him and tell him <clears throat> what a big fan I was of his games um, because um, in Singapore, I have, a, I have a friend who is a big fan of Sashi, <clears throat> and so basically, I, I, I was, I mean, I was really excited to tell him like I'm a big fan. But <clears throat> so, but before I could actually tell him that, he actually actually came up. He actually said, um, "Are you Daryl? And did you design Overbooked?" <clears throat> and and then that kind of really just blew me away. Um, that, and so. Yeah, and so we—I mean, we got off on a uh, on a really good start, <clears throat> um, and then we ended ended up uh, designing a game together. So was uh, last... your idea, his idea, or was it one of these things that you just collaborated on? I mean, if, if you know both games, you actually know that. Okay, so you see this like uh, this spatial aspect yes. that's from Overbook, <clears throat> and then the um, the kind of like the interaction aspect that's from. Uh, let's make a bus route. Okay, uh, so a little bit of both, then, right? Yeah, yeah. So it, it's 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 a really cool kind of like hybrid of both games. Mm -hmm.